are you a planner or a fly by the seat of your pants winging it person? There are pluses and minuses to both, but I just want to talk a little bit about planning and how to go about doing it if you're not the best at it. Um, for starters, I just want to say the pluses and minuses, you know, there's something to be said that's really for uh, being freeing and to not plan. You're able to go with the moment, you're able to just be in the present, um, and whatever comes at you, you're just able to deal with. So there are definitely benefits to not planning, but <laughs> there's an element of needing to plan if you actually want to get stuff done as well. So here are a few tips I have on planning. Um, and how to even get started. So let's say you have too much in your brain going on and you don't even know where to begin. Start with a brain dump. So journal, draw. If you're walking, I love to use speech to text, an app where I'm just talking and like it's going, um, type it out, but just get everything in your brain on paper. That's number one, brain dump. Number two is assign a priority to these. So low, medium, high, need to get it done today really would like to get it done today bonus if we get it done today um don't mind the cat i am planning <laughs> on working in here to take care of the cat but anyways assign priority and be realistic about what you can get done in which whatever time frame so if it's a day a week etc be realistic um and give yourself room and then the next is lay it out um bullet journal I didn't know I was doing bullet journal this whole time in my life until now. And I really like finally looked up what bullet journaling was and I was like, oh, I've been doing this the whole time. But anyways, lay it out. So journal it, use Trello, use a calendar, list, whatever it is, assign a deadline if you need to, but get it out in an orderly fashion so that then you can assign. And usually I do it um, kind of the assign priority and layout I do a little bit together because then it takes rearranging but so brain dump assign priority lay it out um yeah and then set reminders if you need to reminders are huge um because sometimes you're gonna forget because you get busy and that's what happens and that's life so set reminders and then reward yourself for accomplishing these i am really bad at this and something i've been working on is to reward myself for accomplishing stuff and even um take time to celebrate the wins. So what I do in, um, for the week in my weekly tasks, when I get them done, I move them from one list to a completed list. And then at the end of the week, I review all of those and check out what I've accomplished. Cause sometimes I feel like I've accomplished nothing. And then I go look at that list and it's, no, I did do a lot. I just minimized it. <laughs> um, so celebrate those wins. And I think one of the biggest things too, is to leave room like leave space for the unexpected so you can go with the flow and build that in because if you cram pack your day your weeks your month your deadline to the point of there is no room for something happening you're probably going to miss it and then you'll beat yourself up and then it'll become the cycle so leave space so in a nutshell get it all out brain dump it assign priority um lay it out set reminders and reward yourself and leave room planning. It's good. It can help, but definitely leave space. So hope this helps.